Hello, welcome to Century Point. First game of the final between Blackheart and Zock. I think these two have shown that they are no doubt the two best players. Because, yeah, we have two <laughs> elite tourneys and they're playing them both in the final and one, and the other one was just made for them. Um, so, this map, uh, it's another frustrating map. But I think it's actually quite good, and uh, not surprisingly, both going with UEF here. It's an ACU on ACU, uh, chest pumping action. Be curious to see. I'm gonna, uh, for this cast, make a special uh, note of how these two players micro their ACUs. Because if you, if you don't have that part of the game, you're screwed in many different situations. Interestingly, I usually go for this Hydra first. I think it's smart to go for this one. This one's a little easier to protect it seems uh, we already see a difference mech marine for blackheart is going to be looking for an expanding engineer so the simplest way to expand to i think uh blackheart is going to spot that engineer this is it uh so zok is known for trying to get the early reclaim uh, to really make his build order work out it's one of his strengths i mean it's kind of silly to talk about the strength of uh blackheart and zok because do you, I don't know of any weaknesses for them. So it's like, if they can, they will. And one thing that you can here is grab these uh, 600 masters sitting there and put it into your uh, build order. And another thing, of course, you can. You can send a mech marine and kill that engineer. And that has put uh, Blackheart slightly ahead. So definitely a very useful uh, mech marine. And uh, here it is. This is where the battle is going to be. I think Zox going to make it first but he's just gonna stand there instead of yeah last opportunity is gonna be very close against the mass battle striker versus striker up on top in honor of these two great players i'm gonna go to plus one so let's see what the reclaim numbers are 336 236 looks like zok got a lot more Oh, look at that. Look at all those uh, tanks going to the bottom. So, besides all the reclaim, this is a huge expansion. This is a three-person FFA map. So, another set of hydras. If you can secure this and get these hydras, you're set. Another really big thing is that, of course, there's a lot of reclaim. Massive amount of reclaim. And for whatever reason, in many games, people don't break the sieves for a long time. They're busy fighting, I guess, but it's just the one already. And of course, uh, you can break the sieves and then lose position and break the sieves for your enemy. So it's not obvious just because you kill the PD that you're going to claim all this mass. It's a strategic choice when you open up the middle. You have to be sure that you can secure it and get most of that mass. An engineer, two engineers here are a bit exposed for Zoc. 424, really good scouts. No more scout up on top. Uh, very close economies from these two players. Slight advantage in power for Blackheart. Two ACUs, killing trees in the middle. They're clearing the battlefield. And the shape of the battlefield, you can see it's, it's basically a hill. It's critical for uh, different units. One of the reasons to use UEF because they have such good arches on the shots. Um, artillery is also quite potent. Playing with the Cybern T2PDs here, it's very frustrating. But uh, UEF T2PDs, although they, depending on where you place them, they'll still get blocked by this. They're a little more forgiving. You see Blackheart already breaking in. This will give him a massive boost. I'm talking about thousands, thousands of mass. You can get this and you can build yourself 20 T1 tanks. That's about how many tanks we got on the field at the moment. 17 and 5 RDs. An interesting radar. I like to put radar right there. I think it gives a very nice. Oh, looks like one RD might die. Blackheart quick enough to save his arty. That's impressive. Long time ago, uh, I think it was 2008, one of the first things that were patched out of the game was the health of the Lobo. Uh, at one point it was 205 instead of 200, which made UEF absolutely brutal. And the significance of that is, yeah, you can see here, Zok investing quite heavily in these forces and he must because uh, Blackheart has much uh, more engineering capacity here he's looking to secure it Let's see these units moving as a 
as a squad. But uh, 205 means that it takes the ACU three shots to kill one of these two players. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's how close it is. And sometimes uh, the PDs don't shoot, you have to manually tell them to. And look, it's gonna be a wall fight. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Zok winning with the wall even though he was late. And here's a battle. Micro's critical. Blackheart wants to definitely go back to his point defense, probably wants to save his engineer here. And in terms of mass extractors, definitely advantage to Blackheart. All these are secure, m massive problems. For Zok, meanwhile, two of the three PDs have been destroyed, so you can go ahead and walk in. I don't know if Zok knows, but he can walk in. Also, potential to attack through the top. What is all that? Is this stuff flying here? Am I just seeing things? Oh, this PD got five kills and mistake from Zok. And look, look at all that Tech 1 PD, Tech 1 uh, land factories. <clears throat> a plus 10 advantage for Blackheart and a beautiful, beautiful economy. So, talking to Blackheart after after this week, he mentioned he is gonna probably play a little less, which is unfortunate. It's hoping that he can play as many turns as possible because he's he's gonna study math. He probably already is. His university is restarting math and economics. So, I personally uh, think that's awesome. If you're somebody looking for college and you're looking for something to study. You should copy Blackheart, not just for his build orders. You should copy his degree as well. I think uh, the more math you know, the better you'll be at whatever you're doing. Sorry, the white horse has canceled his upgrade. Zok retreats and major victories for Blackheart all over the field. I think that's where that advantage in mass that uh, Blackheart had has really paid off. This point defense is so critical. It closed off this position. Meanwhile, you can see there is no point defense here. Black cards are rolling in. Black card is a superior force against Zok, where it's a point defense that just got killed. Only one kill, but many walls. And this is what I wanted to focus on. Let's see what the ACUs are doing. No chance to dodge ACU shots with ACU. Just a little too slow. Black card continues to move. I love my mouse, by the way. I have a button on the mouse, which is... It's a combination together with shift, so I don't have to touch the keyboard. I just... Just do that. Just like an overcharge is another button. You, you, you must uh, put overcharge as one of the buttons on the mouse. As we just saw Zok pull up an overcharge, 16 kills. A black heart with superior force just forcing Zok back. Zok in a full retreat. Zok attempting to recover and this was oh man so one-sided I did not anticipate such a one-sided game and look at all that weak lane in the middle think of the fact that Blackheart broke into here and grabbed a little mass no, it's only 2500 I think or grabbed a lot more Zok 2600 weak lane definitely not it it's the amount of mass extractors I believe I don't think there was major differences in micro Zok just didn't have as many units and now the Zog's base getting destroyed. No way back. No point defenses here. There's just not enough firepower here for Zog to do anything. Did uh, Blackheart ever make a, a energy storage? I don't think he did. That's one difference. Zog made an energy storage. So Blackheart never overcharged. Zog 37 kills. Maybe he can get some veterancy. And if he used to repel this attack a lot, it's... It's never going to stop. There, there's the veterancy. 41 kills. Black heart, 15 kills. You see, veterancy is very good because... Oh, what is this? The transport? Yeah, it's just overwhelming. Why is there a uh, transport there? This is what a UEF battle looks like. So, Blackheart takes a one-up lead in his best of five. 
Hello and welcome to game two between Zoc and Blackheart. Blackheart is one game up. Had a pretty interesting sentry point, but now we are on something a lot more usual. One of the most common maps, uh, Sirtis Major. Uh, yeah, this is... I think, like, people might think Open Palms is probably the most common. And Settins, of course, because there's Addicts who only play uh, Settins. But this is one of those others that has to be in the classics list. It's uh, multiple layers. I really like the size of it. It's really perfect for the ranges and the speeds. And that's one of the reasons people don't usually like larger maps, because the comparison between unit speed and range, it just doesn't feel right. Maybe it's just getting used to it, but uh, this map just feels right. Maybe because, yeah, like I said, we've played it so many times. Here comes a McMarine last time. On Sentry Point, uh, Blackheart also went with a very quick McMarine, which did get a kill, which set the tone. Um, but now, we'll see. There's There are typically a few engineers coming down that direction. One player I noticed who really hates to do that and, uh, is crazed. He just sits back here, very safe, and just out equals ease and reclaim, and then later expands. Um, we're also seeing scout and tanks, so both players are going to go raid. The difference is a later tank from Zok, while Blackheart going with a quicker mech marine. And you can see the build order. Yeah, Blackheart betting on uh, Zok going second air bomber. Does is Zok gonna do that? Nope, interceptor. Both players going interceptor. An unusual thing, but that's uh, that does happen. The more common uh, second air is on a map, the more common you'll see interceptor versus interceptor early on, but that scout from Blackheart spotted the interceptor. It's actually something to look at how these two players will use their air. And you can see that mech marine instead of waiting, which it probably would get spotted. And by the way, look at that. Look at the timing from Blackheart. He had the scout that came over, so he knew exactly where there were targets. And he chose this engineer as the one that was least defended and of course also typically they're well that's great the police are hard at work but you know there are two kinds of police sounds they're the ones that get louder because they're getting closer and the ones that are getting more soft as they go away the second one is the one that we have here which is the one I prefer Oh, I think everything is quite loud. <clears throat> so, um, the siren did not save. This mech marine is a badass, taking out an engineer and a mass extractor. Elsewhere, we're going to see strikers going at it. And on these maps, sometimes there are battles that happen right on this ridge. There are little holes in this that you can use. You can bury your units in there. <laughs> this is a defensive tank that's getting chased back as we're getting a bit of a... Um, the game sound really low. It's just getting chased back. There are a couple of engineers from Blackheart also coming in. Very similar ecos. The ACU for Blackheart is slightly further ahead. Zok is also poised to go ahead and come in. Um, yeah, it looks like Zok is going to lead that air fight. Oh, man, I was totally backwards. That was Zok's offensive striker getting killed. Apologies. So, no problems whatsoever. I think Blackheart is killed the two interceptors without any challenge. Zok playing a bit sloppy, I think. Throwing away entities like this. A bit uncharacteristic. Land spam, we already see four land factories. Fifth coming up here. Blackheart getting shot by PD. He's trying to break through the wall. He's got Artie moving in. Artie from both players. He'll be nearly simultaneous. And I uh, gotta say, <clears throat> two engineers attacking the expansion. The expansion capture from Zok is going to be a little slower and that makes a big difference. Seven mass extractors is a very large fraction of the map. And of course you never want to forget these. These are also quite juicy and especially these two mountains, actually all four, have huge amounts of reclaim. Surprisingly large amounts of reclaim. So this game on Certus, the one of the most common uh, ways these games end is for the two ACUs to meet and then uh, reclaim for too long get hit by a bunch of artists especially with a Lobo 
Lobo uh, damage per shot. I believe if you eat the entire volley, you get uh, 600 damage dealt to you. Um, but of course, I believe it's 10 second uh, reload time on these things. I am not sure. Also, you don't want to stand too close to this thing because you do get explosions. Looks like that was fine. Zok is going to get the first dibs on it. Oh, the uh, black art. He's ready to battle. He's got a point defense. He can be aggressive. Zok. With most heart. Oh, man. What? Zok only had um, a few arties which has disappeared. So Zok was reclaiming while black art was beating ass. You have to make that choice as an ACU. Do you want to be an engineer or do you want to be a tank? This was a tank, this was an engineer, and the engineer is dying. Oh my god. Zoc. 4,000 reclaim. Blackheart. 3,000 reclaim. Zoc. 5,000 health. Blackheart. 11,000 health. It's all about choices in this game. I think that's one of the main lessons that uh, Zoc gives to his students. Zok attempting to get a little veterancy, uh, an extra like 1100 health for the first veterancy level, plus a little more gen regeneration. See the tanks moving in, a point defense. Zog desperately needs two more kills. 19 kills, is he gonna get another? Horse is not stopping. 19 kills, get a kill Zog. He just got a little veterancy. Of course the horse isn't stopping. A full gallop. Yep, four more shots, five more shots. Double PD. Oh, wow. I think uh, Zok just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed that very short service. Um, so, Zok kind of getting his ass kicked here. Wow. All right, so he's down to nothing. Oh, man. Yeah, a single mistake in the middle. So many games are actually lost like that on this map, where you feel like you gotta get that reclaim, you can't give up that advantage that you just got, and your eyes get all big and you start sucking on it, <laughs> and then you die. Exactly how it happens. Hello and welcome to game three, and just like in that epic best of 15, Zog finds himself up against the wall. I mean, he just could not stop the horse, the horse kept on going in his fight. Veterans here or anything else. Yeah, so if Zok can pull off three victories here in a row, it'd be very impressive. If he doesn't, that means Blackheart has pretty much dominated him the last few days. And uh, yeah, it's, I think, unless Zok wins three games in a row, it's very difficult to say that these two players are even. I think this is a significant, significant edge to Blackheart, which also puts him as the top player of, uh, I guess, early 2014. First air from Blackheart, he's playing as Seraphim. Zok also playing as Seraphim. Not surprisingly, these two players got to play a whole bunch of games of Roanoke and on Point of Reach. I believe, yeah, they played this after Point of Reach. I may be wrong. Uh, where they made a lot of floating arty. Ridiculous amounts of floating arty. Incidentally, if... Uh, no Patago made some good mods. Other players have, uh, I think Zulan and classic uh, mods for stats. I keep on talking about it. It would be great to have some more unit stats, not just economy stats at the end of the game, but things like top veterans or total artillery made. Uh, I think that'd be really cool to have that uh, together with the replay, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know much about computers, but that type of data would be very interesting. I'd really, I think that the most cool, the, the most interesting thing would be to see the top veteran units from a game, like the top veteran T1, T2, T3. Blackheart first air makes. I think it's the obvious thing. To, you gotta go first air every time, uh, and it looks like a lot of mask extractors early on. So Blackheart is not gonna go for a crazy no mask extractor build, and. Uh, <clears throat> There's a bomber, first kill. Ah, oh, the white horse. This is a map especially made for the white horse because you can't see him. The Seraphim bomber is the most difficult bomber to dodge. 
course there's debates about why and on paper it's supposed to be exactly the same. People who say it's on paper exactly the same are wrong because if you compare these two bombers, the release point for um, this bomber is a lot later. So it means for Aeon you have a few more seconds to react. See how that was just straight down. It's more of like a missile shooting down instead of a slow bomb and a long arch. And that's those few extra seconds give you that little extra um, amount of time to dodge. Of course, UEF and Cybern, especially UEF, quite easy to dodge just because of the way everything is shaped. Here is um, an interceptor, which is not the <laughs> job. This is a very unorthodox start for Zok. I don't think this is what he planned. He's got a bunch of flak. And uh, the thing about rivers, every single one of your first engineers is uh, worth a lot. And uh, because I mean, you, you have expansions in this direction, you better send more than one engineer there. You gotta expand to your reclaim, you gotta expand here, at least two engineers to this island. So you got jobs for the first seven engineers easily. And suddenly you lost a whole bunch of them to a bomber that wasn't killed. Actually, these interceptors are not gonna go Look for targets over Blackheart. Blackheart hasn't made any air. So, well, now he's made a scout. But I think Zok is going to attempt to take air control. This could be a mistake because the bomber from Blackheart is going to come in. He's going to look for more targets. Come in bomber and bomber. Saying hi to each other just like during Cold War. Oh, God. Okay. Zok is up against a taller and taller wall. Oh, my God. If uh, Blackheart would have bombed those and survived, um, I would have rage quit. If I was Zok, I would have already rage quit. I rage quit on command. I hope people don't get mad at me. I know sometimes people tell me I whine too much. I completely agree with you. I just can't help it. I really hate whiners in general, but yeah. Like myself, though, the ACU for Zok expanding to the left. He's gonna grab the mass tractors along the way too. Probably not the most efficient thing too. But when you got no engineers, you might as well use the ACU. And the bombers for Zok. This is a good bomber. What is he bombing? One kill for this bomber is gonna prevent a mass extractor. But you can see a lot more white, and not just the snow on the map. Look at that. A very depressing sight for either Zok or anybody who wants a competitive game. I will speak this up. Oh, the agony. You can see now multiple tech to mask tractors for, Bla uh, for Zok. Multiple mask tractors for Blackheart. I'd love to see Blackheart take this and convert it into a Tech 3 max. I think on this map especially, it's a good example where running a single, uh, well, you want a couple Tech 2 max characters, but then rushing a Tech 3 instead of upgrading a whole bunch of Tech 2s is much better because a lot of times when you get uh, in the middle stage of the Tech 2 naval game, you are in a position to lose quite a few. And especially on this island, I think, uh, I know people upgrade there all the time, but they're so vulnerable. Just gotta upgrade these, perhaps these, depending on your naval situation, and then uh, rush a tech three. Sub versus frigate. Zok is gonna go ahead and grab his mass. And Zok actually catching up. So one thing we do have to take into account that early bomber uh, build, there is a negative side to it in that uh, you, instead of making a whole bunch of engineers early on, you did make that bomber. The bomber takes longer to build. It, it's a bigger hit on your, your economy. You see 25 seconds versus 13 seconds. And it's your first two engineers that are 25 seconds later. So that is a slight advantage for Zok. But of course, what those bombers did to Zok was quite, uh, quite gruesome, I think that's the word. So we're seeing this uh, early naval battle, Seraphim on Seraphim. Kind of 
sound this makes. Zaka guess guessed the sound uh, that he heard in uh, the video when I was playing. I have no idea what he's talking. About. Although I think I've heard that sound before too. Yeah, not a hundred percent sure what he meant, but I'm pretty sure that's in my past life. Gotta stay strong. Got uh, frigates. Interesting micro from Zach. Yeah, this flooding art is just gonna come and try to deny a bunch of mass extractors. Blackheart's uh, bomber micro. I know he's he doesn't have any weaknesses, but he's been shown off to be. I guess because he played so much EEF, we didn't get to see just how good he is with bombers. I know his other micros very good, but his bombers have been very effective. Um, it's as if uh, Lushon uh, went to China and gave away his bomber micro to Blackheart. So not a very nice thing to do by Lushon. Blackheart does not need any help, and do we see Tech 2? Tech 2 is started by Blackheart. Do we see Tech 2? Not yet. It's a good looking frigate. Just a one kill. Gets good recon. He will see that there is a destroyer. And what is a destroyer in this game? Something that will beat uh, a lot of units. A lot of different weapons. And the cost of it is about 2000 mass. Uh, and it takes without assist 246. So nearly three minutes, and uh, Tech 2 factory builds as quickly as eight engineers. So, see how much assist is on this factory. Total of 30, total of another, basically another four factories. It'll be five, uh, five times faster Commander than three minutes. Attack. Basically every 30 seconds, uh, Blackheart can produce a destroyer. And the destroyer will completely turn the tech one naval stage. Um, if you look at the difference between stages uh, for navy and land, uh, sometimes you can use tech one land to really compete with tech two until tech two really gets into large numbers. The step between tech two and tech one navy is really large. A single destroyer is much more powerful. You can also see it in the costs. Uh, for land, a uh, typical Tech 1 unit is 50 mass, typical Tech 2 unit is 200, except for the super powerful ones like Obsidians and Ilshivas, which are about 360. Floating tanks are also a little more than 200. When you look at Frigate versus uh, Destroyer, it's basically a factor 10. So instead of a factor of 4 or 6, you get a factor 10 in cost. And uh, one of the biggest, of course, well, I think. <coughs> I'm beating the crap out of a dead horse here. Because I'm just trying to hide from the sadness of the situation. But there is no hiding from it. You see Tech 2 Navy? Um, on this map, incidentally, with. Um, I need to stop saying that word, it's annoying now. Uh, there was a great battle between Vortex and. Uh, was it Blackheart? Yes where uh, Vortex beat Blackheart on this map by using Seraphim regen field. And I think, uh, um, I know Blackheart really hates, uh, what's that map, the red map that's 4v4, I'm sure most people know. The one where I played him, that uh, Guile casted, where I had a bit of an advantage early on. But I think this is another map that Blackheart doesn't like, and uh, War, uh, Vortex got the regen field on his ACU and uh, sent damage destroyers from the middle battle back and got basically the regen for free because when you regen with the ACU upgrade you don't have to pay for it unlike when if you attempt to use engineers to repair and, uh, three destro two destroyers or third destroyer has come in and after a battle like that the question is who's gonna get engineers here first those naval battles leave a lot of reclaim here we see actually some manual reclaim from Blackheart and uh, 
attempted a drop from Zok. Actually, he's already dropped here that I missed. <clears throat> he's got to do something. He is behind on the mass. Of course, a bit of reclaim and a couple good drops could uh, fix that. So if you got about, uh, probably there's even more destroyers. If you want to make a destroyer every 30 seconds, that means every 30 seconds you got to produce 2,000 masses. We see another drop. That means you need, uh, your income needs to be about 66 mass. So if you got 66 mass and about 32 engineers and a tech factory, you can make a destroyer every 30 seconds if you want to. If you don't do anything else. Let's see, I want to see these arties hit these plans. Not going to happen, but a success. Oh, I want, oh, this could be interesting. These floating artists, they should stay away from the frigate, but they need to kill those NGs, defensive bombers. <sighs> Too much white. Let's check out the reclaim numbers. Zoc at 13,000, nearly 14. 19,000 black cards, so definitely an advantage. Um, but these uh, already drops from Zok have actually even downed, uh, evened out the economies a little bit. I think in terms of the total naval composition, Blackheart is significantly hit. Oh, and of course he's got the region field. I love the fact that he did it. He's going to show that off. Does he have the second or the first? He's got only the first. If he get that second one. This is actually one of the cheapest upgrades in the game uh, for the ACU. I think the cheapest two are the... The shoulder drones for UEF as well as stealth. I think this is the third. I mean, it really doesn't cost anything. It's just like they're begging you to use it, but it kind of sucks unless it's a special situation. And uh, in terms of destroyer numbers, I don't think these destroyers are gonna need the benefit of that upgrade. Floating already coming in. Yeah. Blackheart being <laughs> nice, I guess you can put it that way. Does Zog have the region? No, he's just sucking down trees. Blackheart was gonna get even closer. This is dangerous for him though. Because Zog realizes the ACU is there, he's gonna get a whole bunch of bombers. He's already getting uh deck two bombers. This is a very good bomber, the Nota, if you use it. It's a little more difficult to use than other Corsair. I think it's the second best bomber after the Cor uh, the Corsair, and it's actually even better in that it's a fairly good air fighter. Nothing like the Swift Twin, but it's much better than the Corsair. Here come bombers, and what they're gonna see is that there's no more build capacity on Navy. All the build capacity has been shifted to the air factory. Did uh, Blackheart see that? I think he should have. Plus, he's got he's got good looking sonar here somewhere. How does he see that? He's got tech to sonar right there. So he knows that there isn't too much build capacity. So he could probably just switch to cruisers. Still making destroyers. Put a bunch of cruisers here and watch them win the game for him. Definitely uh, sniping material. A thousand damage per bomb. Your only problem is that they don't like to let go of their bombs. But if you... Oh and yeah, the cruiser is going to make this much more difficult. Here come torpedo bombers. It looks like the destroyer got deep enough that he may have seen the location of Blackheart's like, oh Blackheart's out of the water. He's gonna make tech to flak and a shield. He's got uh, regen and he's got He's got tech to engineering. Yeah, I think Zok needs to stop making torpedo bombers. And uh, Blackheart, yeah, if he just spams cruisers, sets him over here. And then start spamming, start spamming air. Alright, let's see this from Black uh, Heart's point of view. This is the last ditch attempt. Zaki Zaku is up against the wall. He He's gonna lose if he doesn't get this snipe. The snipe is gonna be very difficult because Blackheart has 15,000 health. He's underneath a shield that uh, has a whole bunch of health, which I can't see here. And uh, another thing to make things worse, 
Zog does not know where the ACU is. And if you don't know where your target is, you're screwed. I want to see cruisers come on. And has he spotted the ACU? It's not like it has stealth. Hmm. And I think here, yeah, what is Zoxy? He knows that that's something. He just doesn't know what it is. Yeah, we did not see a snipe. Yeah, without any more torpedo bombers, there's no way to see where Blackheart is. Zok with his base getting demolished by Blackheart's superior navy. But you can see Blackheart won it with that first bomber, which was extremely well microed. And Blackheart is the champion. Last week, or two weeks ago, it was Zok. This week, it is Blackheart. Hopefully, we can do this in two in two weeks. Maybe it'll be three weeks. I haven't decided yet. But there will be a week three of over eighteen hundred tourney, and I uh, really want to encourage people to sign up. And I'm still looking for ideas, so if you want to um, <clears throat> suggest a map that you'd like to see in round one, round two, round three, uh, in the final, please suggest it. And uh, I like when people give suggestions. I typically like to use people's suggestions, that way I can blame them when the players don't like the map. So hopefully people enjoyed this journey.